Hey everybody, we're here at CES 2017 checking out the Pico Neo CV, Pico's second generation wireless VR headset. Pico debuted their first generation product at last year's E3, and it was there that they unveiled the world's first completely untethered VR solution. Every other VR headset on the market relies on some external unit to power it, whether it be a beefy PC for the HTC Vive or Oculus Rift, or a smartphone on Google's Daydream or Samsung's Gear VR ecosystems. The Pico Neo CV is a completely self-contained unit with all the processing, display, and interfaces built right into the headset. We got to try it out at CES, and we're we're thoroughly impressed with its ability not just to positionally track where we were in the room, but also how clear the displays were. Running dual 1.5K displays at a 90Hz refresh rate is something even better than what Daydream or Gear VR currently deliver, all while running on the same Snapdragon 820 you'll find in Samsung and Google's latest phones. What's also important to note here is that this does positionally track you in the room, something that those headsets will not offer. While Pico's first Neo DK was aimed at businesses, this year's model is a much more consumer-friendly variant and hopes to catch people's attention by being a unit that's not reliant on your phone's battery or your gaming PC or console. Pico is also touting the world's most advanced spatial audio rendering engine, meaning you'll feel more like you're in the VR world because audio is placed exactly where it should be in the virtual space. It does this through the built-in speakers located around the headband, keeping this one truly attachment free. The battery is also located here and the headset is surprisingly lightweight, especially when considering everything is built in. Content is king though, so we'll certainly have to see how this one shapes up in that department, but if it gets some good support, this really will be a fantastic alternative to those other mobile VR solutions on the market. There's also no price or release date just yet, so we might be waiting a while to find out. Thanks for checking out this hands-on and we hope you'll subscribe to us for more content and check out all our other CES 2017 coverage on the site as well as our YouTube channel here too.